five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadows we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope for all millions of Negro slaves. But 100 years later, the Negro is still not free. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty and an exile in his own land. So today we come here to dramatize that shameful condition. I say unto you today, my friends, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. And it is a dream that is deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day down on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day down in Mississippi, a state sweltering with heat of oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, even with its vicious racist, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, even everybody that has a situation of doubt will one day live in a situation of hope. This is our hope. This is the hope I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that one day we will be free. And this will be the day we will be able to sing with a new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers rise, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must be true. So let freedom ring from the prestigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty Rockies in Colorado. Let freedom ring from every hill and every molehill in Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when we let it ring, we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free out 